So, first drill, really simple. You have a player here with puck. A player probably seven to 10 feet away. All they're gonna do is they're gonna make a pass to that player. He is not allowed to turn his back. After I make that pass, I'm skating and I'm stopping even with their feet. So I'm stopping keeping our bodies aligned and I'm just going stick on puck, right? So it's important when he teaches, just uh, Jimmy, have him go, have him go one hand like here and then as they get closer and they stop, now they're two hands and they're ready to compete. So one hand with their reach, still in line, right? It's still here. Stop even with their body and then I'm, I'm competing for the puck. So the reason we want them stopping on their body is that that'll um, enforce them not to do the old flyby. Because if, if they don't, if they just go body at the puck, right, and they miss, or this player makes a move, now I'm out of the area. This will at least, if this guy tries to make a move now and I miss the puck and he tries to make a move around me, now I'm close enough to where I'll get a bump. The second one is, now we're gonna stop and we're gonna get into their hands and stick lift. So again, I pass, I skate, stop, and now I'm coming here and I'm skating away with the puck. And, and they can do this on both sides. So I can pass some to this side as well, or I pass and they have, they have to catch back in. And I'm coming here, stick on puck, stop, and now I'm coming into their hands and trying to cut them off. And then the last little phase is, so we'd have the player start here without a puck, the coach would hold the hockey puck. And they'd still start the same distance away. The only difference is this player um, that I was mimicking will not have a hockey puck. You're gonna say go. When the kid gets about five feet away, you're just gonna drop the puck hard like this. This player coming in stops, and he's stopping on this puck. And again, he's working on all those skills, trying to keep their body even. But I'm ultimately, I have two hands on my stick once I'm stopped and I'm coming under his stick and just trying to get this puck. And, you know, the last thing I would just reinforce to the players is as soon as they get this puck out of the battle, they're moving their feet back to wherever they came from. So they could actually, uh, it could be a coach, it could be the next player in line, but maybe this player goes for about five times in a row and then after I win this puck, I'm moving my feet back to my line and making a pass. So now we're reinforcing moving our feet after we win pucks rather than being flat-footed where now he can get the puck back with me. That's it.